Today I'll be presenting the work done by IE Labs for search engines for symptom checkers, a comparison of their effectiveness for online health advice. With searching for online health advice and services becoming a common activity performed by web users, there is a need to provide accurate information as incorrect online health advice can result in severe consequences. Given this, what other kinds of health advice and information do users seek online? Well, this can range from seeking information about a medical condition and obtaining first-hand experience of the condition by other sufferers, to diagnostic and triaging information. For the purpose of the study and research done, we will be focusing on diagnostic and triaging information. First, let's establish some definitions. Diagnosis is the ability to correctly identify a patient's condition based on the symptoms provided or observed. And that triaging is the ability to assign urgency of a treatment to a specific condition. For example, do they require an ambulance or emergency care, maybe non-emergency care, or perhaps they can perform self-care at home. Let's take a look at a condition that would require health advice, deep vein thrombosis. This condition occurs when a blood clot forms in a vein and is typically found in the thigh or lower leg. This can lead to a pulmonary embolism and require emergency care as it can be fatal. So how do web users obtain health advice if they are suffering from these symptoms? Well, a common method is to use search engines. A study by Pew Research found that 70% of online health seekers begin at a commercial web search engine, and another study by White and Horvitz found that 42% of web information seekers have searched for self-diagnosis. Symptom checkers are an alternative to search engines. Symptom checkers are systems that, dedica that use dedicated algorithms, which, with the use of questions and answers, attempt to diagnose a medical condition. Our study focuses on comparing these two systems, specifically the effectiveness and usability of each. Effectiveness is the ability to provide accurate diagnostic and triage information. Usability looks at user preference, ease of use, and time of use. In the study, we address four research questions. Research question one, does the use of search engines and symptom checkers alter people's decisions and confidence in self-diagnosis and triaging? Research question two, which is more effective for self-diagnosis and triaging? Three, which requires less effort in interactions? And finally, for the fourth question, which do people prefer more? For the first question, in order to determine if users are influenced by the considered systems, that their self-diagnosis and triaging will be recorded both before and after usage of these systems, along with their confidence in their answers, and then compared. Effectiveness is measured by comparing the accuracy of the decision made by participants before and after using both systems. Effort is measured in time taken and self-perceived ease of use of the systems. Participants are asked to rate which systems they prefer to use based on satisfaction, ease of use and usefulness. A user study was set up to answer our four questions. A total of 64 participants from the general public were recruited. Participants completed eight simulated health scenarios representing self-diagnosis tasks. These tasks were to be completed using two different systems. Firstly, a search engine based on the Bing search API, and secondly, a system a symptom checker based on the Health Direct Symptom Checker tool. Users were first asked to provide consent, then asked to fill out a demographic questionnaire before the study. First, we asked the users to do a pre-scenario questionnaire. Then they were asked to read a vignette, provide what they thought the diagnosis and triage level were, and finally how confident they were of their diagnosis. Next, the users were asked to complete four vignettes using one system and four vignettes using the other. To minimize bias with fatigue, we rotated the eight scenarios and the two systems using a Gracia Latin square rotation. Once completed, the users were asked to move on to the exit questionnaire where they were asked questions about user preference and ease of use. This is an example of one of the vignettes used. This is Karen. She is suffering from leg pain after being released from a hospital for an unrelated condition. There's pain in her calf, 
it's swollen, tender, and painful. This is a screenshot of one of the search engine interfaces used within the study. On the left hand panel contains the scenario and question that the participants are meant to answer. This is a screenshot of the symptom checker interface. Like the search engine, the left hand panel contains the scenario and question for the participant to answer. Now, let's look at the results of the study. Research question one, we focus on the change in self-diagnosis. Specifically, change in self-diagnosis decisions after using the search engine or symptom checker. We observed that using either system causes participants to change their decision roughly 60% of the time. A binomial statistical significance test was performed. We found that some small variation exists between scenarios, but overall, the trends remain. Most people change their decision after using either system. It should be noted, however, that the symptom checker did not explicitly suggest a diagnosis to the participants. Thus, changes in their diagnostic decisions when using the symptom checker may be ascribed to one, the question the symptom checker are prompted the user, or secondly, the triaging recommendation provided by the symptom checker. Next, we look at the change in confidence. This graph shows the confidence of participants' decision regarding self-diagnosis for the search engine on the left and the symptom checker on the right. Overall, confidence increased after using both systems. However, there were some cases of medium confidence before using the system, which resulted in low confidence after using the system. The use of the search engines also provided people with more confidence than the symptom checker, albeit statistically insignificant based on the t-test. We posit that being able to query, read documents, and interact with the search engine rather than follow rigid steps of the symptom checker may have helped in raising the confidence. Now we examine the search engine or symptom checker influence triage decision. Only small differences in the triage decision were observed from the scenarios that it were initially perceived as not needing medical attention, regardless of the system intervention participants were exposed to. After binomial statistical significant test was conducted, we found no statistical significant difference between the triaging decision taken with the symptom checker or with the search engine. We observed little difference between the two systems in terms of participants' confidence in their triage decisions. Both systems exhibited a regression to the mean after using the system. That is, highly confident participants lower their confidence after using the system, while highly unconfident participants raise their confidence. Now, now that we have investigated if these systems work, we should look at their effectiveness. Here, we look at how using search engines and symptom checkers impact self-diagnosis correctness. This figure presents the number of correct answers for each scenario. The number of correct answers is generally lo very low, highlighting the challenge for self-diagnosis online and how people may struggle at the task or make poor decisions based on the online interactions. A true sample proportion Z test was considered to measure the statistical significance of self-diagnosis accuracy between the two systems. We found that the accuracy of the two systems was statistically different with the search engine being more accurate seven out of the eight scenarios and equal in the remaining scenario. Here we look at the correctness of triage decision. This figure shows that the percentage of correctness triage decisions using each system, as well as the percentage of underestimated and overestimated triage decisions. Using the search engine, participants made slightly more correct decisions. When users make an incorrect triage decision, they are slightly more likely to underestimate the triage level regardless of the underlying system. That being said, overestimating the triage level is more likely with a symptom checker. A two-sample two proportion z-test was considered for participants who have chosen either the correctness or the higher triage urgency level. And we found no statistical significant difference between the symptom checker and the search engine. For research question three, the effort involved when using each system was analyzed. Effort was measured in terms of time taken to complete the scenario using each system and the self-reported ease of use. Considering time, a paired t-test showed that there were no statistical significant difference between the time taken using the search engine versus the symptom checker. Finally, for research question four, we found that participants were lukewarm with respect to usefulness and their satisfaction of both systems. This may be representative of the challenge that self-diagnosis as people struggle to use either system in such a complex task. 
However, when participants were directly asked which system they preferred, there was a slight preference towards the search engine. We set out to find how effective each of these systems were with respect to the self-diagnosis task. So what have we found? Well, first, we found that systems do change the diagnostic and triage decisions of users, making the reliability and effectiveness of them a serious concern, as only a small percentage of people were able to use either system to find a correct diagnosis. These correct diagnoses were more likely to be achieved using the search engine. We also found that confidence in their decision change, typically increasing, which brings a new concern as it is far worse to be very more confident in your wrong diagnosis after going online. Furthermore, while not great, the search engine was more effective in every factor evaluated, specifically diagnosis and triage. Given the motivation forcing the checkers is to constrain users and make them more accurate, addressing many of the perceived shortcomings of the search engine, this may be a surprising finding. One would have expected them to be more accurate than the search engine. As for user preference, we found that people preferred the general search engine over the specific health system checker, symptom checker, and that people found that search engines easier to use. Utility and satisfaction were also rated higher for the search engine. However, the time taken to complete the task was the same for each system. So what are the final takeaways? Well, both systems perform poorly in both diagnosis and triage. The study certainly offers a cautionary tale that use of online systems for self-diagnosis. Low answer correctness, underestimation of triage severity and overconfidence were all observed in this study. Triage decisions rather than diagnosis decisions may be more significant measure in terms of someone's health impact. There's also a lot to be learned about understanding users how they go about self-diagnosing online, and when, when and why they succeed or fail, and how best to support them. It is this last area that study hopes to help the most.